Yes, he would be able to crush units with a command center. Looks like Gottney is getting sneaking suspicions yet again. Is checking for the gold base, which has not been taken. But had it been taken, that would have been a very good tactic, tactical maneuver. <coughs> oh, excuse me. SCV is now beginning to work on that. Slowly but surely saturating his natural expansion. Meanwhile, we do have a medevac moving out. And is the medevac going to get spotted by the Viking? No, just barely gets out of the way in time. Viking is heading up now to scout the natural. Using this one Viking has two kills already, but is getting amazing amounts of vision and sight. Knows exactly what his opponent is doing. And knows that his opponent does not have very good saturation on this base. Could even fly down, land, do some damage, fly back up. Looks like we do have a drop over here from Gani. Gandhi's going for the starport. Is he going to get it? Gets it down to about half health. Gets it down to about 500 life and chooses to fly away with that medevac, losing no marines in the process. Ooh, looks like he's going for another pesky drop. Where's this drop headed to? Following it. Oh, looks like it's headed to meet up with the Viking, possibly drop this natural and do even more damage. But will he decide to drop it? Early? Yes, he does. Decides to drop early and harass the middle line. Going into the middle line. Gets one SCB kill, two SCB kills, three SCB kills. Now going for the engineering bay. The engineering bay is not even upgrading anything. And. Oh no, SCB's pulling off the line and siege tanks and does manage to take out most of the Marines. Only three Marines left. And saves the engineering bay from absolute destruction. 110 supply currently for Gatney, 81 supply currently for Rhino. Medevac is now heading down to the natural. And it looks like Rhino is prepared for this. Decides to pull all of his SCVs off the minerals. Gotney with a little trickery of his own. Decides to get an orbital command down here at the gold base. Meanwhile, Rhino is dropping off a drop of his own up at the natural. Will this be able to do damage? Yes, it will be able to do damage. Meanwhile, here comes the drop at the natural. But the Marines are ready for it. Marines take out the medevac, yes, and take out all the marines. Ooh, we've got units everywhere. Marine drop now coming up into the natural, but it looks like there's a banshee there waiting for him. The banshee does get taken out now that the marines are working out. We've got drops everywhere. We've got drops in the main, drops in the main, drops in the natural. We've got everywhere there's drops. Oh, this drop does get picked up. Let's switch over here to this drop. Medevac is in range of the missile turret. Medevac is going to get taken out. Meanwhile here, SCVs are being chased off the line. Now this, these Marines without support are quickly going to get separated and obliterated. Supplies currently 102 to 85. SCV production is no longer up and running. Gatney's gold base is heavily saturated with mules. Gotta love that Terran economy, man. You just drop a whole bunch of mules and you are good to go. Meanwhile, here are several Marines and lots of tanks for Gotney. Looking at Rhino's army composition, same thing, Marines and tanks, and you definitely, definitely do not want to leave your army sitting like this. This is not how you want an army to sit. These tanks are in siege, these Marines are all stuck in amongst the tanks, and they're in a choke. Ah, there he goes, he's listening to the cast as we play. No, no I'm just kidding, this is previously recorded, folks, previously recorded. Sensor turret is now up and running for Gatney, so he will be able to see any kind of drops in and around his natural. Fourth base is going up as well. Meanwhile, Rhino is heading down towards the gold base. Will he be able to take that out? Oh, here comes Rhino's army pushing out. Sieging up at between the natural and the ramp. Sending out this small force down too, but this planetary fortress is going to have something to say about it. Will this planetary fort? Oh, does manage to pull back before losing any units to that planetary fortress. It's going to have to siege out outside of its range and slowly but surely shell away at that until it is no more. One thing you can do to keep that, that little attack safe is siege up out here basically. And then any units that try to go down and save that base will get taken out. Meanwhile, SCB is being pulled off. SCVs beginning to work on that siege tank. Will the SCVs be able to kill the siege tank? The SCVs are going to get the siege tank. Meanwhile here, Rhino is expanding into this choke. This is not a place to attack. There are a lot of siege tanks here. He is not going to be able to break this with this many tanks. Losing all of the Marines there in one shot. 
And losing the siege tank to a handful of SCVs. I think this is going to be it for Rhino. If he loses this army, it's pretty much going to be GG. 147 to 102 currently. Raven now flying out in front realizes that all of the tanks are basically in a choke. I mean, there's nothing much he's going to be able to do here. He's got this small force of marines that could basically come up and harass this base and possibly do some more damage up here, but I mean, basically got a small contingent for both players. Siege tank does get caught out of position. Siege tank does start getting shelled, and this siege tank gets taken out. Marines coming forward to help aid, but also get taken out. Meanwhile, Rhino is continuing his tank production, marine production as well, heading up 106 to 163, 164 for Gottney. This is exactly what you need to do, folks, in a tank contain, is keep your tanks here as well as with a few marines, and then sending a small force of marines with a medevac reinforcement and has this plus two, plus two out. And basically what this attack is going to do is basically force this whole army to pull back on siege, and then he can roll in with his tanks and clean up the rest. Marines now working on the destructive rocks. They will get that taken out. Meanwhile, we do have this contain here. These tanks are getting shelled at. They can't see. This tank does get taken out. Marine is still alive here with minimal amounts of health. But meanwhile, we do have a whole bunch of stiff marines heading into the natural, taking out all of the SCVs, taking down the orbital command. It goes down, taking out the refineries now. That's going to get taken out as well. No units here to protect against this handful of marines. We've got 40 marines here now pushing up into the main. And there goes this. Oh, sacrifices a whole bunch of marines to do very little damage, but pulls all the marines out of position and slaughters the marines from Rhino. And Rhino decides to GG out of this game. It's now that these marines are working out in his production facilities and they're really getting taken out quite quickly. And that's the end of the game, folks. Gotney advancing to the next round. Thank you for watching this replay, and have a good day.